Hello, Georgie B back again. Today I'd like to show how I made this card. Another mail got cards for you. Um can't believe I've filmed two. Um yeah. This one I have got a carried over set, handsomely suited, and we're just using the tie. And I've also used dies from a retired set. Um Get up garage and I've used the big cogs and I'm going to use four little cogs to fill in the spaces. I've also used all geared up to celebrate as a sentiment for that and that's there. Right, card. I have got a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth. A piece of basic white for the inside at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, and a piece of basic grey at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. I've also got a piece of seaside spray at two and seven eighths by three and three quarters I think this is me coming to the end of my seaside sprays now now I've also got a piece of blue and I think this is misty moonlight I'm not sure I just found a scrap of blue in my drawer and that is three quarters of an inch wide but we only want enough just to show off a different colour blue and then it will be cut to match the same length of the seaside spray so might as well do that now um, glue so Let's just glue that and we're going to stick that on there and line it up like that. And then we should just trim the ends down. That didn't do very well. That's it. And of course that will get stuck on there. That seems an awful lot. It is, it's too big. Let me cut this down. then I'll measure it. Right, the blue needs to be two inches. Seaside spray. That's a bit better. Now I have cut the big gear which is going to go on there like that. We've just got the little gear to cut and the tie. Obviously, on the sentiment. So, you need a scrap of white for that, which I haven't got out. Yeah, I have got a bit of scrap here. So, let's stick these down before we do any stamping. And I'm going to stick this at this end. Like that, and we're going to stick the gears down and then cut some more. We don't want them coming up, so plenty of glue on the cogs that stick out.
but it'll never come out. Right, that should do. And then we'll just stick that up there. And we'll stick this on our card base. Because everything else can get done while it is stuck on the card base. Like that. So this has got to be stamped. We need a piece of basic grey for the tie to be stamped and we need a white for the sentiment to be stamped. So inside our card we add have a happy birthday to you which is here which will Put on this block. And get our versify now. And we're going to stamp that in the middle. And that's not very straight. So that's not very straight either. Oh my god. I'm not having a good day with my stamping today. So I need to keep the block straight, you silly person. Right. Card straight. Block straight. And that will do. Right. Um, what do I need this? Oh, all geared up. So, I'm going to pop that there. That's fine because we're going to cut that out. And now we need basic grey for the tie and we're going to stuff this on here right I'm going to cut that out with the dies. Cut that off because we need some grey for the cogs. Um, right. Set that on my die. On my card. Take it down. Send it through. There's our cut tie. So we get rid of that. Bring up this scrappy bit and our cogs. That 
should do. And run them through. Right, got these three. Not going to fit that. Oh, wrong one. Tell you, I'm off asleep today. trying to do is fill up the card. Might not use them all. That one can go up there. Just cut these. And add. Way before I lose them, kind of doing that. All right, I'm just going to glue these all down. are down. Right, now we're going to doctor our tie. As you can see it's too big. So I am going to cut this here and I'm going to take the knot off. And I'm going to glue that on there. I think I actually did that a little bit shorter, but it doesn't matter. Ooh. And then we're going to put that on dimensionals. Uh, 
and then that just sits in the middle there. Yeah. And then what we need to do is cut this out. And stick this on dimensionals. One, two, and one in the middle. And place that across. It's not very straight. That'll do. Like that. And then stick your centre pieces. Ooh, found a cog that wasn't stuck out down. There we are. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up and a like. And if you want to share, you can. If you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Wednesday, Friday, and a Monday. <laughs> All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.